Greetings everyone, it is me Geek11 and welcome back to Ape Escape. And, well, the last part I showed off my poor performance at a, a twin stick racing game. In this part, well, let's go back and <clears throat> catch a monkey with the slings back shooter glitch I showed off earlier. So, one thing you can do at any time is revisit levels and and uh, catch monkeys that you haven't caught before. So, by selecting a level you revisited, well, we'll tell you that the stage has been cleared, but we'll still let you play it and such. One thing I've always noticed with, uh, with, with the game is that, uh, yeah, it seems the monkey's got here through a rocket ship. <clears throat> so, you remember that one glitch I talked about, right? This is what you can do. Instead of waiting for a sky flare, you can do this. Dang it, come on. And we're up here before we were supposed to. As you can tell, he's cornered. So instead, uh, so we get a different message for capturing every monkey in the level. You did it. Yep, 100% complete. Now I don't know what other levels I can do to I can play to do slingback shooter uh, uh, jump glitches and such, but considering that I suck at doing those consistently, well. <clears throat> I think we should at least uh, get a move on to Oceana. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! This is the Super Hoop. It protects you and makes you run faster. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. So we have when the so we have a speedrunner's best friend, the super hoop. As you can tell by rotating the right stick, well, get ready to plow through enemies for a short little bit. <coughs> Ow! Fortunately, they don't do any damage, and that's about it. Basically, think of this as your speed booster or something like that. <coughs> <clears throat> or some sort of, uh, or spikes equivalent to the spin dash, because this particular, because this particular, uh, this particular, uh, gadget is especially useful for, uh, the likes of, uh, for the likes of time attack. In this next period, you'll find that most of the planet is covered with water. The water net will be very useful in catching the apes. There are lots of dangerous creatures below the surface. Be careful. So for this one, we must catch five of the eight monkeys in this world. We also only have one Spectre token to get in this world. So let's get to work. So yeah, don't be surprised if you only carry four weapons for out or four gadgets throughout your entire adventure. Sometimes you'll be switching off certain gadgets, like you'll be uh, going, uh, you'll be going from uh, from one gadget to another. But this particular gadget is essential for the for the uh, uh, for time attack, and you can already tell how long I've been I've played this uh, I've played time I played this game. Also, yeah, the game is slowing down because of how much it's rendering at once. Great water, would you say? That's yeah, great. I mean, it slightly helps for time attack. I'm not sure if this happens on actual hardware. It's been a while since I played it on PlayStation 2. I can't really test that on my PlayStation 2s currently. I want to, but I have to find the game out. I have to get out of the game out of storage. 
And two, I have to get both my PlayStation 2s fixed. Like, not only test on PlayStation 2, but PlayStation 1 as well. <clears throat> anyway. Now, I could use the uh, slingback shooter glitch. I only need one more monkey to get. But I'm gonna do another thing first, and that is to get the uh, last... Uh, well, get the last Spectre token. So where do we get it? It's down here. By going first person. Um, if I remember correctly. Hey, you don't know how uncomfortably close that got. Why is it so dark in here? Ah. Oh. Yeah, you hear those UFO sound effects? We're not go I just remembered one thing we could do is, uh... <clears throat> is go back for a certain monkey and take them down with the slingback shooter, but... We'll worry about that once we get the Sky Flyer, which is not until the Ice Age. So, let's go up here, and you'll notice there is our only one and only Spectre token. And we saved ourselves from taking damage upon the fall. So, let's hop on in. Oi. This is why you want the slingback shooter. These monkeys are in UFOs. Your only way of taking them down? Sling back shooter, your stun club will not do a darn thing against these things, and these UFOs are a pain to deal with. And just like that. I know I'm probably not showing good use of the stun club, but once you do time attack, you probably won't use the stun club the way same way you do again. <clears throat> We're only going to worry about 100% completion on a certain level once we have all gadgets for it. And believe me, as much as I want to go back to another level, I want to get the right gadget. Now it's time for Coral Cave. <clears throat> another world with 8 monkeys and only 5 to catch. We also must look for a Spectre token. This also is a great way to show off the usage of the uh, of the uh, super hoop. And as you can tell, there is an area right here where we can uh, do exactly that. Let's take down these flying enemies. <clears throat> these ones charge at you rather than spew fire at you. But you need to spin your stun club around and start running. Ugh, I always hate when monkeys do that. <clears throat> Let's see. He's hopping around. There is a chance he will hop into the water. Ugh. This is why you want to use the stun club, is because it will stun them to prevent them from karate chopping you, because believe me, okay now that's my fault for not judging things fairly. But Yeah, these sharks hurt. All the dinosaurs may be gone, at least for the most part. But that doesn't stop these sharks from uh from uh, outright uh Outright mauling Spike alive. I'm pretty sure if Spike's mother found out he was doing this, uh, doing this, she would give uh, the professor and Natalie an earful. Ugh. So let's get some cookies from this cookie station. Yep. Thank goodness for those. 
I can't remember where the uh, Spectre token is in this level. <clears throat> I know it's somewhere. Oh wait, I can do this. No, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to use the Sky Flyer to get up there. <clears throat> so let's go to another area. So let's get up. We're out of the shark's way. Let's go into this next area right here. And here we are. In this area, we have uh, Zookers, as they're now called. And we also have many... Th like, this is a very big area. Or, well, not very big, but uh, big enough. Oh, yeah, that monkey right there. That is not exactly an easy monkey to get. Because he will open fire on you. Now that ain't fun, is it? If he locks in on ya, well, expect to eat lead. <clears throat> yeah. Zookers always give me trouble because, because if you're too close or something like that, there will be variants that will hide from ya. Oi. I know there's the... I know the Spectre Coin should be around here somewhere. It's only one. So I apologize if I take a little... Eh. Spike! Come on! So I apologize if I take a bit with these levels. Ah, uh, Depth Perception. I think, uh... Yeah, I think it might be underwater. Yep, there it is! Uh, I probably should have looked up some of these, just in case, but... I'm going off memory, because I've played this game on and off so many times. And yet I say I love this game and have gotten all monkeys. It didn't take me until recently to get true 100% and... Oh! Uh. It, how did those bullets yep now you see what happens when you lose all your cookies you do have checkpoints at least so so let's get that monkey proper yeah taking care of this one is a pain because you need to get in and get out Now, uh, there are explosive bullets that do more damage, and homing bullets, which could be useful for if you're not using first person. I wasn't even locked on, and I still hit it. There we go. As far as I'm aware... Yeah, I can't exactly get on this thing easily. Ah, darn it. So let's catch another monkey before we can capture this one. <clears throat> so of course that target we hit is what will allow us to uh, climb this. And as you can tell, there is a monkey with a missile pack on it. If that monkey... Cat, if mo that monkey catches sight of you, well, you're gonna have one of the hardest times trying to catch them. Be 
Because he will lob bombs behind him. Okay. Give me your cookie. Because he will lob bombs behind him. Shoot at you. And believe me, that monkey is more tricky to catch than it looks. We haven't even gone to the part with those anchors yet. Yeah, we're not even 15 minutes in. This is like, uh, this is technically the second level we've completed. Let's see our completion. We are at 15 coins and 20% uh, completion. We are only uh, one fifth of the way there. So we go. We have to go inside the dinosaur. <clears throat> now this could be one of the harder uh, time attacks to do. We have to catch six monkeys, and sadly. We are only going to be able to get two of the three coins in this level because there is a coin behind a magic punch wall. Let's go. So, as I learned from my uh, from my uh, strategies of ape escape uh, time attacks, you may wonder what's behind this wall. Well, you you will be familiar with destructible terrain via your uh, via your stun club, and this is where you can get one of the monkeys here if he cooperates and not shoots at me. Now, <clears throat> there's no music for this first part. Believe me. I, like, I love this game, and I do like how Time Attack does give you a new way to play the game and possibly make your uh, future playthroughs even, uh, like, even faster. But at some point, there are going to be those Time Attacks that it's going to take a good while to do. Also, the reason why you need that, uh, why you need that turtle to get on the ship, because, uh, because the waves are so strong. The waves are so strong, they'll push you back, and there's no way of getting. And there's invisible walls that prevent you from, uh, from skipping the turtle. Otherwise, that's all the monkeys out here, though. We have one of the spectre coins. We have, we have one of the monkeys. Well, let's just say, well, this here, the reason why it's called Dexter's Island, this here is Dexter, and uh, he's in pain. We're gonna have to do some. Uh, we're gonna have to do a bit of surgery a different way. I know what you're thinking. No, and no, I'm not into that. No, thank you. Yeah, we're journeying to the inside of a dinosaur to help take care of a, uh, a pest problem, a monkey problem. There's our second coin, and that's all the coins we're gonna be worrying about for this level. Let's just say this. there's a monkey in particular that I'm going to get out of the way. There are also some monkeys that will not be able to get until after we have a certain uh, gadget. Let's just say this is one of the most pain, painful monkeys to get, and one of the most quintessential monkeys you have to get for time attack. Because holy moly, this monkey will not stop moving, but he's also got missiles and bombs. Yeah, those missiles hurt. And the camera angles. Not exactly a fan of the camera angles. I made that look easier than it, than it was. But believe me, that monkey gave me so much trouble in the past. I'm not a fan of this camera angle. Ah, oh, it's, it's giving me a headache. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry to my viewers. <clears throat> so yeah. All I have to worry about here from here on out is monkeys and uh, Donkey Kong references. Where are the barrels even coming from? This dinosaur must be huge. So yeah, can't uh, death procession make me makes me nervous with that part. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. I'll be right back, I mean.
Now these little things, uh, these are weird, these are like weird, uh, weird biological life forms that have taken form inside this dinosaur's body. <clears throat> now it could be one of the things that's probably hurting him. So yeah. Free these monkeys, this dinosaur will be a lot better. Anyway, monkey. Again, because of time attack, I cannot play Ape Escape the same way again, and it kind of makes it a lot more fun to do it the way I want to do it. Ow, yeah. There we go. And I also like the warping textures and the pulsating uh, textures as well. As far as I'm aware... Anyways, it's time to slide down as we go f deeper inside the dinosaur. And I did not intend that, but I am glad I did that uh, because that looked cool. We cannot get this coin until after we beat the game normally. Which is not going to be until later. So, let's venture further. Let's venture further into the dinosaur. I almost want to say dragon, but nope. This is a dinosaur, not a dragon. <clears throat> and here's another part. In other ways, this kind of reminds me of Jabu Jabu's belly from Ocarina of Time, so... And this particular thing definitely reminds me of... Yeah. That's not, that's not pleasant to have inside your body. <clears throat> A lot of things are not really pleasant and such. So, of course, through another section, we can head into another. So, time to go for a swim. I'm good, thank goodness it's water. But now we have another thing. These monkeys are behind the little area where they can just freely take pot shots at us. Let's shoot them, and they'll go through this area. And that's about it. And because of we caught catching more monkeys earlier, we can go into another area and such. This, more monkeys will reside in that area. In fact, uh... In fact, in case we're not able to, uh go to this area for a while. Believe me, we're coming back when we have the magic punch. Let's explore that area for the brief moment we have. So yeah, but that's not all. Now we're in New Freeze Land. We're in the Ice Age, where there were too many sequels and there was one that recently aired on Disney+. Plus. I would go into the whole debacle all about Blue Sky, but uh, my channel's not about that. That's, that's near here or there. I recommend searching other channels if you want to be able to go into detail about that. Otherwise, this is about let's play in the games I want to talk about. You're heading towards the Ice Age. It will be extremely cold in this next area. The planet is covered with ice and in some areas with strong winds, the temperatures will drop below freezing. The apes have adapted well to the new surroundings. Take full advantage of the gadgets so you can quickly move on. One Spectre token, and, and we had to capture five of the six monkeys here. So this will be a very easy revisit uh, whenever we uh, we get to it. Oh my gosh. 
I forgot how good this song was. Oh. Oh. Yep, don't touch the ice. So yeah. In this area we have fake snowmen that with Spectre's icon on it. Kirby called, they want their frosties back. Anyways, this this level might be the easiest to do a time attack on, more easier than the first level. And as you can tell, I've already as you can tell, I'm already well versed with the game's structure to do stuff like that. <laughs> so Oh, there's the Spectre token. That didn't take very long to find, now did it? There's a monkey behind this ice wall. And we broke the ice. And as such, let's have a nice conversation with this monkey. These monkeys, uh, I like how these monkeys carry coats. Like, I love their, I, I love their new freeze lane coats to adjust to the extremely cold temperatures. Meanwhile, Spike is taking this freezing temperature like a champ. This mammoth right here, you don't want to bother with during the uh, time attack. So you just want to make sure you shoot him out, shoot him out of that mammoth, because that fighting the mammoth is not exactly one thing I recommend doing. Let's head straight towards the more industrial areas of it, and let's show off what else this speed boost, uh, this ho super hoop can do. There's a strong wind in that area, and I went and speed right past it. Another cookie station to refill your HP, and it's time to go through one of the more finicky areas of uh, of uh, Snowy Mammoth. Uh, Spike, mind telling me uh, why you kept spinning there? Yeah, I don't like this area because I find these uh, I find these blades harder to dodge. Oh, that was not intentional. <laughs> that was the thing. <laughs> I hit multiple things at once. I ah uh, man, I have flabbergasted because I did all that by complete accident. And that's about it. I mean, could you tell how much time I spent in Time Attack if I'm already beating levels much faster than I was earlier? We still got some time. We can do one more level. So, time for Frosty Retreat. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! Here's the Skyflyer. It'll take you to high places. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. The Sky Flyer! Yes! Oh, baby, where have you been? I love this gadget. It's a high jump, but it is so darn useful, it ain't even funny. Basically, slowly rotating it will have Spike trying to ready it, but uh, quickly rotating it will basically give Spike an extremely high jump, and it will give him a more extended jump upon uh, on double jumping. It's more recommended that you do a uh, that you decide to do it without jumping, as you'll go even higher than you normally would. So, so yeah. So yeah, after this level, we're going to do some backtracking in the next episode, but um, let's not worry about that now. <clears throat> I love this weapon. Uh, I keep wanting to call them weapons, I'm sorry. They're gadgets. Gadgets. <laughs> Six out of the nine monkeys. There are three Spectre tokens. I think we should be able to get all of them. 
This is probably one of the easier levels to do a time attack of because I remember getting it on my first try. So, let's replace the slingback shooter with a skyfire. Man, I do not like how it skips over the uh, magic punch and such. Anyway, be careful of those zookers. Skyfly, and it's time to get moving. We already know the location of one, uh, of one, uh, of, uh, of one of the, uh, the Spectre Coins, and two of the monkeys. They are having dinner together. Unfortunately, it's time for a raid. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but hey, I'll take it. Eh. You get back here. Look, buddy. No more monkeying around. There. So upon spinning up, there is your Spectre token in here. Ah, uh, they even have a photo. Too bad I caught them. Anyway. I love the view from here. I love this background. Like, I was already a fan of the of some of the painted backgrounds that the Crash Bandicoot series has, especially Crash 1. The painted... the... the, the high-in-the-sky kind of background gives me, like, classic RPG vibes. Like, PlayStation RPG vibes. These particular Zookers will always hide from you, and you need to get the hit on him before he decides to hide from you again. Now we're gonna go inside this area, and I already know the location of one of the, uh... of one of the Spectre tokens. And the location of getting hit. My gut. Anyway. Let's go into the... Let's go take a dip. Because it's right here. And before you ask, there's no monkeys down here, so uh, you don't need to worry. But yeah. Nope, this is not an area where there would be a monkey that you have to skyfly to. Be careful with the spikes. That's why. I don't know what makes these spikes come out. Must be uh, Spectre's monkeys uh, doing their techno babble kind of stuff. Be careful of those boulders because they will hurt you. And you can even skip this section. And just like that. That could have been a lot cleaner. So much for trying to sh show style points. But yeah. For if you are playing this game for the first time, I do highly recommend make high use of your stun club because uh Man, he was giving us the cross arms. <laughs> Before we capture our last monkey, let's see. We have two of the three Spectre coins. I think I know where the very last one is. And it's in the last area. There are a lot of monkeys in the last area. And it's highly recommended that you use the, uh, that you use the, blah, the, that you use the, uh, rowboat, as there are electric jellyfish in the water that will, uh, give you a shock. But they're not as threatening as the, uh, they're not as threatening as the, uh, apparently. Not as threatening as the, ow. They're not as threatening as the, uh, as the Volt Catfish in the, uh, in the more primordial areas. Uh, the only reason why I'm taking a little bit longer is because here's our last Spectre Coin in the entire level. There it is. Now let's get back up there. And refill an HP. And, of course, this is an area. And, and unfortunately, the monkey got to the, uh, the uh, UFO before we could. And if, and he's going to take some flight. Ugh. This monkey's always a pain to hit. Where, where did you go? There you are. Where did you go? There you are. Yeah, these UFOs are a pain to hit because they like to move so much. Stop moving! Stop moving, darn it. 
Over here. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Go, I missed. Oh, wait. That was the last hit. Yes. And I think that will do it for this episode, so... <laughs> Let's just uh, cash in our rewards, as in see our results. <clears throat> so, next time we meet, we're going to be doing a bit of backtracking to clean up some monkeys. And as you can see, we actually unlocked another mini game. We have 20 Spectre coins, we can play monkey boxing, but we'll worry about that next episode. If you want to donate, uh, there are a couple links in the description below. Any donation is appreciated. And if you want to follow the series and more, you can click the subscribe button, hit the bell, and you'll be on your way, but you don't have to, you don't want to. Heck, you can just subscribe and uh, subscribe, and uh, you can just catch me on the wayside without being notifications if YouTube decides to show you that. Anyways, I am Ben Galen. I shall bid you adieu. That was pretty cool, Spike. Let, let keep on doing that. <laughs>